Jill Patty here, and today I'm going to do an awesome table design. Stay tuned to see what we're going to do. So I want to show you guys what I got. I ordered this on Amazon. I don't even know the name of it because I think it's in German or something, but it's just one of those little frother mixers that you get for coffee. I put two little batteries in it. I love it. I mix up my paints because I have carpal tunnel and I've had some surgeries and stuff like that, but I love this thing. When I want to mix paints, it's still it's kind of zen for me too. So I put it in here. I can't put it in all the way because it's the paint's too thick. But if I put it on the top, it kind of swirls it around, and I mix it up like this and just pull it in and out. It kind of stirs my paint for me. I really like it. A funny story. I pulled it out a second ago, and it was real hot on high, and it splashed all the way over into my coffee. So now I gotta make another cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, well, let me mix this up and let me get to painting the top of that table. All right, everybody, the next thing I did was spray painted the whole thing. I painted underneath first all espresso chocolate. Then I spray painted the sides espresso chocolate and the edges, the espresso chocolate. I did a little sanding in some spots. I'm not too worried about other stuff where I need to sand where it was a little bumpy because I'm doing something a really cool application so I don't care about that uh, bumpiness then in the middle I kind of sprayed around a little bit with um, some copper just to give it a little two-tone look and now I have some rust-oleum gold sparkle that I'm gonna put on the top and on the edges and we'll see what that looks like all right gold sparkle on came out real nice it's pretty I'm trying not to shadow everything in the Sun here it's real sparkly. I did the legs and everything. Real pretty. All right, buddy, stay tuned. Now for the fun part. But before I do this little table, I wanted to show you guys how I clean my pennies. There's a few different ways out there, but this is probably my favorite. I have my vinegar and salt water here, and I'm going to throw these dingy old pennies in there. And then I'm going to leave them in for 20 seconds and stir them around a little bit, and let's see how clean they get. And I'll compare it to a dirty one right there. All right, I put my salt in already. Here we go. Now remember, they were all the same color, dark, dingy, brown. You can see them changing color right before your eyes. At least I hope you can anyway. <laughs> and then when you're done with that, after they're cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to get them out now because I don't want them to... I don't know, I feel like I'm uh, damaging the penny if I leave it in there too long. I'm going to drop them in the water. Cold water I got over here. And it's just water. And then when you're done cleaning them like that, what I do is take them out and put a little, out when they dry, take a little olive oil and rub the penny like that, and it gets all the gunk off. All right, let's dry these up and see how well they turned out. And that's just like the first round. You can dip them in a couple of times if you want. But compared to the penny, that, where they were all the same color, as you can see, they're kind of pretty and shiny, shiny. I don't want all my pennies to look brand new when I do the table anyway. I want some to look old, some to look new. And some you can see they're going to need a second cleaning. And some are definitely going to need the olive oil treatment. You just put a little olive oil on your fingertips and rub away. And that gunky stuff seems to come right out. And I'm wiping it on the rag so it seems to... The dirt's coming off on here. There's another way with peroxide, and then of course you can use the CLR, whatever, but I kind of just like the vinegar water. I'm going to drop that one back in there and see if anything happens. <laughs> can I give it a second round? And here's the one. Let me get that out. I want to show you something. Here's the one that... Uh, I didn't do anything to right there 
This one's really old or something. It's actually chipped on the end. Anyway, this is the one I didn't put in yet because I wanted to use it for comparison. But let's drop it in and see. Supposed to mix, make sure the salt is mixed up in there. Change color already. Dip it in, rinse it out. It's not that dark brown anymore. They still need to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's gonna, dropping them in there is gonna get them mostly clean. Okay, let me clean all these pennies up and let's get to this artwork. See you in a minute. Okay, while I'm mixing up this resin before it's ready to go on the table, I got my little sponge so I can uh, get in some little cracks and crevices and the edges. And I got my scraper so I can scrape underneath and down here because there was little holes in the table. But I wanted to tell you guys something. I did a video on this a while back. So it's been a while, so I just wanted to update you guys because it just happened to me again. So I got a new can, a sprayer. It's like for computers and stuff, that the ultra dust or whatever. And I used it to spray to get out some dust and everything in between the little cracks and crevices of the pennies. But when I did that, when you push the, the pressure, when you push the button, the pressure makes this little stick come off. And then it lands all over the place. And if you already had resin on here, it, it becomes a mess. Because it's happened to me where it landed in my painting and shot across the painting and ruined it. So you need to put tape on here. Put tape right there, and then that'll secure it. So when you spray it, the stick isn't going anywhere. All right. Now I was going to tell you, I did want to put some turquoise in here because I love chocolates and turks, but I didn't want to take away from the penny design itself. I just did a little center piece. I uh, wanted to bring that shiny penny forward, just a little something-something. It's a little outdoor table, so this is going to be a fun little project. All right, you guys, I'm just about ready to put the resin on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I did put a little fine glitter, extra fine glitter, in with the resin. So it won't just like lay right directly on top of the pennies. It could be kind of like a floating, a floating look. There's a lot of little fun things that I wanted to do with this table. But that's what makes projects never get finished. <laughs> I was going to put sand in here and little tiny rocks in there. And like I said, the Turks and chocolates. But I'm going to leave it as is so I don't overdo it and overwork it. But I want to have some fun, everybody. Here we go. I'm spread it around my little stick. Another thing too, this table isn't flat and it's not wood. It's a metal table, an outdoor table, and it's kind of like concave. So that's what makes it a little hard on stuff. I might just use my fingers on this glove and mix it around. I don't know yet. We'll see. I do have a lot of resin on here and I don't want it to pile in the middle either. So we'll just move it around, y'all. I've never designed anything with pennies before. And I'm, like I said before in another video, I am fairly new to resin. Not really much resin, but resin with paints and stuff like that. Pe resin with pigments and inks and paints. But I have done big countertops and really big projects with resin. But not resin mixed with something else. Just plain resin. I mentioned in one video before, and I'll say it again because it's been a while. I did a big bar top a while back about 10 years ago, and uh, 
we routed out holes. Actually, I routed out little holes and we put in, um, it was a country western bar. And I put in whips and belt buckles and coins and bullets. And then I put the resin on top of that. And it was so fun and it turned out so nice. Matter of fact, next time I go out that way, I'll get some pictures to show you guys. I'll get some pictures for you guys and show you how it turned out. Now, since this table had some holes in it because it's an outdoor table, I can hear the resin dripping up from underneath onto the plastic here. And that's when that little scraper that I had, a little handy-dandy scraper, comes in handy. Now, I didn't do the legs. I just spray-painted the legs and I dipped the bottom part in... Uh, some rose gold to kind of give it a little ombre look and we'll work it and then in about two hours I'm gonna take a look at this and see where I'm at and maybe I want to add a few more sparkles or maybe I want to do something at the last minute to fix something. I don't know, but we'll check on it. I'll check on it in an hour. I'm going to take some of this extra fine glitter, put it in the palm of my hand, just a very little bit, about that much, and I'm just going to clap my hands. All right, everybody, let's let it dry. In the middle of the table, I did put the copper and gold leaf and then put the little penny in the middle. All right, everybody, let's look at the finished product. Here it is, all done. Sorry I can't get too much light out here. It's another dark, gloomy day, but... I threw some uh, turquoise on the legs, just splashing it around a little bit because I kind of wanted a little pop. Just sporadically sprayed some somewhere. A little asymmetrical fun. Here's the table, nice and smooth. Loving my pennies. Got something on there. There she is, everybody. I can't say it's my best work, and I can't say I'm overly excited about it, and it's fantastic, but I like it. It was fun. It was a fun project. And it's a fun project you can do with your kids, you know. They would love that. You could do nickels or dimes, quarters, whatever you want. Anyway, fun project. Very, very fun. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody.